X-Men fans. Why they got my mans looking like this, though? Why they got my mans? Look, they done took away the silky perm from my dude. We all know Bishop needs the silky perm. Even though I'm talking about Bishop right now, we are actually talking about Cable. Anyways, welcome to Reviews from the Six. My name is Cedric, but you can call me Sadie Said. And today we are reviewing Marvel's Cable issue seven now it is the uh 2008 series i believe so if you go looking for marvel 17 you're gonna find something different <laughs> trust me i did a lot of research on that and i was just like why can i find the issue that i actually have why am i finding this issue and it's that issue but yeah let's get right into it shall we it doesn't even matter if you're image comics dc comic marvel comic fan man boom comic whatever we are here discussing our hobbies and our interests and one of my interests and hobbies of course is x-men specifically cable and bishop which you probably already got from the beginning of the video that i'm a bishop fan but what I really liked about this comic, though, are the characters, man. Like, you had Hope Summer in here. You know, if you don't know Hope, get to know Hope. But Hope is pretty cool because how she plays with Cable's mentality and his mental health. Like, you're just like, okay, now I can see why they call her Hope. And I see why she's a vital part in his life, you know. Then you bring in Emil who is the love of hope's life like so it was like this big love triangle which we'll get into when we get into the story right then you had other uh, characters in here like commander spencer who is the uh father of emil you had my man archbishop in a role that i've never read him in and i loved it like like I said, even though you might have heard me say, why they got my mans looking like this, I actually loved it. He got some modifications. He got some authority and some power now. Like, I was like, all right. You know, they call my man the priest. Yes, they was calling him the priest. They also called him the archbishop. Like, come on, man. Like, oh, my God, that was just good. Um, what else you had? You had, like, uh, the unclean planet versus the clean planet, which pretty much is the story a little bit. But we'll get into more details once we get into the story. Um, who else do you have in here? That's pretty much it. You got a couple other characters, but not really. The main characters are going to be, in my opinion, Emil and Hope, which is a great love story, by the way. If you're in it for Cable, don't be in it for Cable. Be in it for the love story. So that's how we're going to open up the, 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 uh, the review, right? So it is a love story, which you're going to see a lot of. Here's a little bit of the art. Which you're going to see a lot of, like, not sad photos, but a lot of people, like, moping and teary-eyed a little bit down on their luck banged up hurt all of that man but i thoroughly enjoyed the art i just didn't like how everyone is like they took a template you know they were like okay let's make all the people of this planet ball-headed and all looking the same i didn't like that and then of course the cover art I don't like how they got my man's fingers like we all know that he has the you know he's fighting the virus but i mean now just a little funky don't you think but yeah anyways who any who's so the story opens up with a flashback right you got a meal uh he's sitting here chilling now this is marvel 17 keep that in mind right so there's a couple issues before this i'm starting off here so in this issue it opens up with um emil right he's talking to his father who is commander spencer commander spencer is talking to the priest now at this time i didn't know who the priest was keep in mind i'm so used to silky hair smooth permed archbishop i didn't know that was priest right but anyways the priest is telling telling commander spence hey y'all need to find my student if y'all don't find it right now there's gonna be problems but if you do i'll give you the power cell now the power cell is used to uh operate the ships that they're using to evacuate the planet so they are unearthed so the setting here is that they're on earth however the earth is so terrible and out of whack man that it, it's having like blood rain and and toxic poisons the air all this stuff in there so everyone is trying to, to escape that planet and go to what they call the clean planet right now remember how i told you about the unclean planet so that's what they're calling it however they split up the uh the society you know so it's kind of like the haves and the have nots long story short so anyways the flashback happens um commander spencer is like yo boy have you seen the girl 
he like, nah, I ain't seen no girl. But he was just with her. Like before they walked in, she was there with him. She just ducked out. So it's like, okay, he knows where she is, but he can't tell you. And the way they made you feel for Emil, because you know, that's his father. But at the same time too, he doesn't want to lie to his father. He wants to protect Hope. He doesn't want to give up where Hope is, which I thought was pretty cool because like I said, she plays to her name. She is the Hope in the Marvel Universe and she is the Hope for Cable. Keep that in mind, right? She is also the Hope for him. So anyways, long story short, he's not going to give her up to get that power cell, but he feels bad because he knows his father has worked hard to get off the planet. But he's like, I just can't tell you that. And it's just us. His mom is not in the picture. So he, he really feels guilty. But at the same time, you know, he's been taking care of Hope, right? He's been feeding her, clothing her, giving her shelter, all that. So now two years pass. They jump two years and he's still doing the same things for her. Right. She has yet to get a job <laughs> or to come out or anything like that. Right. She's still being hid and taken care of by Emil. But Emil's like, look, my father's a good dude. Why don't you just come out? You know, and she's like, no, nah, I don't want to do that because I have my father. I'm waiting on him. Right. So just a little I don't oh, I don't even want to ruin that. I'm trying my best not to give spoilers anymore. But anyways, so we get to cable, right? Boom. Cable's laid out, stretched out, banged up. The virus taking maybe 90 percent of his body in the comic. They say that there was only a little bit of spark left in him. And he focused on that spark and that gave him hope. To rescue hope and i was like yo okay see this is why i like cable this is why i like bishop this is why i like their storyline man this is why i like x-men so i'm like okay cool we rocking with that then i can get on board with that right so anyways he gets up and he goes to the unclean city right so he goes to the unclean city they're getting ready to attack him he's like no nah, i'm here to help so they take him to the leader take him to the leader the leader is like look we trying to get off this planet bruh if you're trying to help go get that power cell he said bet so while all this is going on you know commander uh spencer he's kind of looking at his son emil like nah bro I, I know you've been up to something i know you're hiding something you just ain't gonna tell me it's been two years but it's all good whatever right so somebody uh runs it to his office and they're like look archbishop ain't happy because his commander or his boss got in his butt about it so now he's getting in our butt about it we need to get this fixed and do something about it right so they're like all right cool and then he goes well you know what we think it's strife and i'm not gonna ruin any uh see <laughs> so anyways strife in the future or no 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 in the past had led that army so that's how they're looking at cable like that's our former leader reincarnated it's really not though you know what i mean so long story short they're like let's go find out let's go see who he is right because this, who's this stranger walking around my city you know so boom let's go see who it is right so boom they run up on cable the fight happens right and it's a pretty cool fight scene like in the comic book it's a pretty cool fight stream they, they did their job when it comes to the art on that i actually liked it um well commander spence ends up getting hit boom the sun comes out right then all of a sudden hope comes out right and then they had their discussion you know i thought it was funny because cable considered himself her nene that's what he calls himself in the comic yeah i'm your nene right but anyways they have their talk i don't want to ruin anything they have their talk right so now we're at the part where it's time to get up off the planet so cable this man <laughs> is genius though like i don't blame him for doing it i mean a lie is a lie but i mean it was genius this man does a genius plan to where he gets a crew together and he gets what he needs to get up off the planet while he's getting ready to get off the planet hope is like yo i'm not gonna leave the love of my life here cable's like what is you talking about this dude over here bro nah his dad is the commander and i told you how lonely this life is like you know what we do you know how lonely this life is no nah, come on with it you know what i'm saying so they have their fight right she's like i hate you i hate you screaming this that and the third blasey 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 so they get on the spaceship right they get on the spaceship my man bishop Woo! 
Ooh wee. Now he has a modification and I wish I can give you more details on that, but he has a modification and he's looking and he's like, yo, I should I should I should get that 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 craft out the sky right now. But you know what? I'm not because he feels guilty for what's going on with the planet. And now I don't know what's going on with the planet or what he did. So now I want to find out what's going on with the planet and what he did and what he caused. So yeah, with that being said, y'all, I got to say I really enjoyed the characters. The love story was genius when it comes to the art. There's this part where there's a there's there's a couple uh things I liked. Uh, when it comes to the art, there's uh, where Emil gets left and the spaceship takes off and he just goes, oh, the heat from the rocket ship is, you know, drying my tears. And I was like, whoa, you know what I mean? Like, it's a good love story. And then there's uh, another uh, another illustration of... I really can't remember. Oh, like I said, when it comes to the blood rain and the, the acid rain and all that stuff, like there's a scene, there's an illustration where, you know, the metal and the skin is burning off a cable. And I was like, yeah, okay, okay, X Men, I see what you're doing. But yeah, with that being said, let me know down in the comments, comments, what you think about this comic issue? What you think about this series? Should I continue with it? Do you have more? What would you recommend at this moment? Also, your vibe attracts your tribe. So if you made it this far, hit that subscribe button. It's free. Also, hit that like button. If you don't, YouTube's not going to think you like this type of material. Hit that notification bell so you can stay up to date on all current material. Make sure you share this video to any and all social media platforms, specifically to anyone that this would be useful for or that are into this thing. And peace, love, and blessings.